Introduce yourself. Hi, Detective Elaine Settle, East Orange Police Department, City of East Orange. Detective? Last time I saw you, it was just Officer Settle. You didn't rules up in the world, huh? It doesn't matter. It's all the same. I'm a police officer. I got a question for you. What's the question? Do blondes have more fun? Negative. <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. All right, listen, we're standing here. I'm going to pan out real fast. Right, you know, you know, Detective Settle, you're standing here with a lot of, uh, I don't want to call them young whippersnappers, but a lot of young, fresh faces. Yes. Who are these people? Why are you in uniform? Are they trying to arrest me? Negative. Is it because I'm black? Negative. All right. That's not the purpose of this organization. This is uh, East Orange Police Explorers, Post 541. Um, in order to join this program, you have to want to learn aspect of law enforcement or want to become productive in the community that you live in. Uh, they do community service. They actually, like I said, learn every aspect of law enforcement. This has helped to motivate them to build self-esteem. They learn how to do report writing. This is all to help them in school as well. How to be respectful to others, themselves, their community. How to chip in and help out when needed. Um, any physical training? They learn choke hold, they learn the good stuff? Oh, they learn all of that. Really? And more. Can they make they, even, they even go. They even go to the range. You know, shooting is a sport, mm -hmm. so they do go to the range. They've been there several times. They even had a fun day doing laser tag. Uh, that was kind of like a, a training. They do competition, mm -hmm. national. They have an annual and a semi-competition that they participate against other sports throughout the country. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, with the pandemic, Things were put on a halt, so they did not get a chance to participate. But we're hoping. Don't worry about them. Go ahead. But we're hoping with uh, things starting to get back to somewhat normal, that by the beginning of next year they'll be able to show what they've learned and put some of those tactics and skills up against other uh, posts, and hopefully they'll be successful. And uh, I don't care if they win or not. That's a lie. I do. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> I want to bring the trophy home. But the whole thing is so they can learn to see where they are compared to everybody else, where their strength is and where their weaknesses are, and build on that. And let's continue to move forward. I said, I said young. I said uh, age. I see about 16. I would say uh, teenagers. What age groups are involved? Well, I'm not supposed to take them until they're 11. I do have some 10-year-olds because... These are they, the biggest 10-year-olds I've ever seen in my life. Is this an, okay, well, the, the age range is from... 11 to 21 okay. all right and hopefully you know while they're in school and while they're being a part of this program the whole thing is that you don't wait till the last minute to say this is something that i don't want to do it's also to help you to realize is this something for me or if it's not let me find out something else to take my uh, interest in that i'm more willing to you know to learn and embrace mm -hmm. and i tell them we don't want you to be here if you don't want to be here all right, we're not forcing you to be here. You're here because you want to, so therefore we ask you to give 100%. These, um, we have some of them that's been with the program for a long time, so they have rank. Mm -hmm. Sergeants, lieutenant, captain, deputy chief, chief, they go through ranks. On Tuesday, we're having an interview. Some of them want to be promoted. So they have to come and stand before me and a couple of the supervisors from the police department and answer questions. And okay. we'll see what happens. That's not bad, all right? So I don't know, you know, I, I got to think about cops. I'm there in the front of a lot of future cops. I'm feeling kind of nervous now. You know, we have some of them that have gone into the military, too. Really? It doesn't necessarily mean that you're coming to law enforcement. I had two, one that went into the Marines and the other one into Army. They both are police, though, in the units. I've spoken with a former, uh, I guess, police chief. I've the police, former police chief, and I asked him, you know, because my question has always been, you know, does the job attract type of people who would do bad things like the guy show van up there and uh, to uh, to George Floyd or did the job change people over time because you know you got to deal with the things that you do and he told me that uh it could although it could be a case of both most of the time people who get involved in law enforcement they actually want to help they want to serve they want to help people and so that's the motivation correct yes that is the motivation and that's something that I also instill upon them is that when you're in school and you see something going on, don't become a part of the problem. Become a part of the solution. Either leave or assist the officers with what the issues are. Just tell them, you don't have to be a snitch. It's about everybody being safe. That's what it's about. 
making sure nobody gets hurt because you wouldn't want anybody in your family to get hurt so if you see something and say say something but you need to do something just don't be a bystander because there's no such thing as a bystander you're yeah. either part of it or you're going to help do something to solve it protecting your community and taking and removing a threat from your community is not snitching exactly the snitching is you were doing what they were doing and you told on them so that you can get away exactly but, you know telling on somebody who's going to hurt somebody or hurt your family that's not snitching correct you're absolutely right that is not being a snitch okay that's all I, I, I got. I gave them a heads up. So I'm gonna see how quick you are in their feet. Let's see what that training is all about. There. Uh, <laughs> introduce yourself. Um, explore. Charisma bring. Charisma. Spell yes. that for me. C H A R I S M A. Let's spell your last name for me. B R A I M E. How old are you? Sixteen. You know, does that hair on top of your head interfere with you being a junior explorer? No. No. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right, and the reason I ask that because that's one of the reasons why, apart from the uh, earring and the nose ring. But how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Why are you up here with all these future cops, man? You know, you trying to wreck the community. Yeah, you a snitch. What's no, going I'm on? not snitching. I'm here to help my community. Why? Why you want to help your community? Because like, it's a whole lot of. Say it. Say it. It's okay. She's here to get you. Got your back. It's a whole lot of stuff going on around my community and stuff, and like people around my age, they doing things that they're not supposed to do. And so I'm like trying to help them and like introduce them to the program so they could get onto the right track. I know, listen, my thing is friends don't, friends don't let things, friends don't let friends do things that's gonna get them in trouble. Exactly, that's, that's why my... I'm introducing them to the it's program. All right. That's all right. Right, what about all this physical stuff? You know, I learn how to do, uh, use guns. You know how to take anybody down, you got a chokehold for me, you got any kung fu grip in you? <laughs> yeah, I know how to do a... Is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. I know, uh, listen, I might be in sexist, but I always believe that women, not everybody in general, but women especially, because you're girls, right? And you know, females, and you have to deal with us, right? Is that uh, you should know how to defend yourself and protect yourself in, in, in case of situations, you know, good and bad. So, I mean, do you agree with that? And does this, this training that you have now make you feel more confident so some dog, somebody walk up on you and he won't take no for answer? You go, yo, step off. <laughs> the question is, do you feel more empowered by knowing and being aware of your capability to defend yourself and defend others if necessary. Yeah. Is I that think. a good thing? Yes, that's a good thing. Would you recommend to other young ladies? Yes. Thank you. Chris, I forgot to say one thing. They do learn CPR too. CPR? Yeah, they get certified for CPR. So this way, if this person's in distress while they are out maybe eating or with their family, they can utilize whatever they, you know, you know they, I don't they try to... A, I don't want to put you on a spot, you take them settle. But if, you, if the police explorers know CPR, that means cops know CPR too. So whenever you see all these these uh, cases of these uh, unarmed, you know, individuals calling them out, they need they can't breathe. Those cops know CPR. They could help them out and tell them to breathe. Thank you. We're obligated, though, for that. That's the same. That's the same way if you're a suspect and you get stabbed or you get shot, I'm still supposed to render aid to you. It doesn't make you a bad person. You know, you still have a right to live. If I can help you to survive, that's what I'm supposed to do. What is it for? Protect life and property, correct? That's what law enforcement's about, right. life and property. Introduce yourself, young man. All right, good afternoon. Keep your chin up. You're Explorer Cole. Chief Coles. Been with the program for going on four years in February. Oh, so you're one of those veterans. Correct. All right, what's we'll your first name and last name for me? C A H M I R C O L E S. Right. Oh, I'm Eric Coles. I am 19 years old. You're in college now. <laughs> I am, yes, sir. What school if you don't mind me asking? You want to say what school if you don't mind me asking? Caldwell. Caldwell College? Correct. You a campus high alum? I used to be. Used to be? All right, no doubt. All right, so uh, we just heard uh, from Detective Settle talking about uh, the job. And I say the job, I mean law enforcement and police work. Uh, you're 19 now, right? You're a grown man, right? And yes. you're so tall, right? Thank you. And so, uh, so I mean, uh, do you have you ever considered a career? Did you get into this thinking about a career in law enforcement, or you just want to help or learn how to help? It's a bit. Of, it's a bit of both, right? I've grown up learning to help people and always wanting to help people and always doing it out of the heart and not for something in return. Mm -hmm. So, I've decided to join this program to learn about the community and also learn what I can do to help the community. From East Orange? Correct. All right. But dude, black men ain't supposed to be cops, are we? Wait, repeat that, sir? I said black men aren't supposed to be cops, right? We're the victims of police brutality, right? We don't need to be cops, right? Not at all the time. What do you think about that when you hear of cops and law enforcement getting all this, you know, this bad representation, all these bad things, these bad reports from guys like me in the media, right? It's only one bad apple. Really? It's Can it ruin a bunch? Correct. You sure about that? That is always the case, in my opinion, that it is just one bad apple. Does it make you think twice about wanting to be a cop? Or if you Never. want to be a cop? Never. It's about how you engage the community. 
Yeah, no doubt. All right, you know how I picture you because you're so tall. You, you had this commanding presence, right? You know, once upon a time, as uh, you touch me, let's settle, we'll tell you who was about what? My height, five foot three, five foot five, right? <laughs> cops used to be a height. Listen, it should tell you, it used to be oh, a yeah. height, a height Absolutely. requirement for cops. Absolutely. Cops had to be your height or taller to be a cop. And that's because the, they figured the physical presence would help deter crime. Well, right. why do you think we're all intimidated state troopers? Well, listen, I'm intimidated her because she got a gun and how to use it. But go ahead. Oh, no, it's just Officer Soto right there. She's powerful. All right, so when, uh, so when is there anything you'd like to tell anybody about the East Orange uh, Police Department? About uh, the police? Explorers. Explorers, Explorers program. program. Join if you're ready. Join if you're ready to help. It's either you're all in or you're all out. And I'd rather everybody be all in. All in? All in. Nah, you know, that's a, that's a phrase here in East Orange. All in. He's a good guy called Osner Charles. His thing was, I'm Osner all in Charles. So you guys are all in. All right, young man. You introduce know? yourself. You know, I'm picking on you now because you're on the edge. You had jokey jokes. Uh -huh. So introduce yourself. My name is Marquise Jordan. I'm part of the East Orange Explorers. Spell your first name and last name. M-A-R-K-E-S-E -E Jordan J-O-R-D-A-N. How old are you? 15. What school you go to? Campus. What grade? 10th. 10th? What's your no, favorite I'm way I'm loving. I love it. What's your favorite subject in school? Um, math. Everybody always says math. Watch, it's you going to rack up the bodies, you're going to... I'm just kidding. But, uh... So I'm asking you now, and I talked to uh, your commander, I talked to two of your colleagues, so I want to ask you, uh, I'm going to ask you the funny questions that I think are funny, you know, you know they're very serious. Uh, Detective Settle mentioned that you guys get uh, weapons trained yes. with guns. Have you had any yet? Yes, sir. What do you think about it? It's, it's okay. Is it a good thing to know what to do with a gun in case you have to use one? In the right moment, in the right time. Yes. <laughs> Right, what was it like? Was that the first time you ever held a weapon? Would you go, oh, I'm scared? Or would you go, like, Call of Duty, like, yeah, bring them on, what's up? At first, I was scared of it, but then I got the hang of it, and I, it came naturally. So. What do you think somebody, or any kid, or anybody who just uh, introduced to guns or knows about guns, should know about guns? Did you know, he gets guns get a bad rep. Guns kill, all right. That you should always pay attention to the instructor that teach you how to use the firearm, mm -hmm. and that you should always keep the gun down and never point it at anybody. Unless you want to use it. <laughs> well, all right. But listen, uh, so you can see it's a marksman now. Are you good like that? If I put an apple on my head, could you shoot it off? No, not, not like me? that. I'm still practicing. I'm still learning how to use the firearm. But as time goes on, I feel like I'll be able to learn how to use the firearm correctly. Why did you join the police explorers? I joined the police explorers because, as Officer Settle said, that I want to know what I want to do with myself, what I want to do with my life, and I want to be able to protect and serve my community. All right, so, so this captain said, let me try this cop stuff out and not be a cop yet. Basically, just see where it's going to take me. And what do you think about it now that you've been doing it? How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for a good month now. A month? Are you recently? Are you really? I got you. I got the fresh, fresh meat. So, I mean, what do you think about it? Was it everything you thought it was? Was it more different than you thought it was? I mean, what? It was more different than I thought it was, but some of the stuff that I thought it was, it is. So. Is that good stuff or bad stuff? It's good. All right. When you hear, like I said, we live in, I don't want to say turbulent times because it's been going on forever, right? But when you see the reports, you hear about George Floyd, you hear about uh, all these, uh, Eric Gardner, you hear about all these guys, unarmed black men, you know, people look like you and me, right? Well, me, me, probably, right? Uh, and the problem that they have with police and policing in this country. I mean, now that you got a little taste of what, what it is to be policing, and you're also a young dude, because, you know, being young, you're a threat too. But you're so violent, right? What do you think? I mean, what do you think people should know about these times and, you know, any thoughts on what's going on around you and how it relates to you and what you are doing and what you want to do? Me personally? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking you personally. I feel like, I, I really don't know, like. Just be honest. I feel like being the color of my skin that I am right now, no. as like, being an explorer and stuff, I really don't know. Yeah, that's, I don't that's, listen, that question. that's it's kinda a, hard. No, no, it's, listen, it's, it's okay to not know because I mean it's just complex stuff. But I would say this: a lot of times people say, "Oh, cops get pulled over, people get scared." Like that one kid who got shot. He was in the car, the cops surrounded him, and he just got scared and tried to pull off, and the lady shot him, and he's dead now. Right? Would you advise a kid to be scared when a couple you over? Just be calm, follow procedures, try to live through it. My thing is live through the experience. Right? The goal is to survive the experience. Yeah, I feel like. A person that has my skin color should be able to live through experience and not be scared. Just follow the procedures and you should make it home or okay. Yeah. Based on what you know now, would you be scared? I mean, you're not driving yet, but I mean, you're going to be driving soon, probably fast too, right? But I mean, cause, but, you know, everybody wants to go fast and be young, right? I mean, but uh, if, that's, if you ever have a situation when you're 
when you shoot in front of a cop or in the car in front of a cop, would you be scared now? More scared now that you know more or less scared because you know a little bit more about it? I'll be less scared Why? because now I know that they're just doing their job and they're following their procedures and all you got to do is follow along with them. There's nothing personal, huh? Okay. What do you want people to know about East Orange uh, Police Department for Explorers? Some kid was going, yo, man, what you wearing that hoodie for? You got the cops on, you snitching on, you ain't down, man, what's up? They, they don't know it until they try it, I guess. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. All right, and listen, I knew her before she was a blonde. She wasn't always fun, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, we're going to wrap this up. Detective Settle. Yes. Is there anything you want to say? Well, listen, I'm going to back up and I'm going to pan out so I can get a group shot of everybody. Okay, that's right. fine. Um, anybody interested in joining the East Orange Police Explorer, you can come to East Orange Police Department for now. We're working out of 15 South Mon Avenue, East Orange Police Headquarters. Our normal meeting location, though, is the campus, 344 Prospect Street, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 430 to 630. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 430 to 630. So if you're interested in learning about law enforcement or have an interest in becoming a, a future uh, police officer with the city of East Orange, come and see me. My phone number is 973-266-5070. 973-266-5070. I work out of community relations at the East Orange Police Department. And listen, I want to tell you guys something that you didn't know about your uh, your commander, your detective, that maybe you didn't know. You know, we talk about how size and gender don't earn a measure of heart and guts and smarts, right? I mean, you know, she's in command now, she's a detective now, and uh, it seems as if things are better. But she's a, she's a union rep, and being a union rep for the police department, there's people who did not like her, and people who had, uh, she had she had to fight for her uh, fellow officers and fight for the right, for the rights and fight for other stuff from people. She saw people who getting ticketed, who didn't deserve to be ticketed. And she said, that's not right, don't do that, right? And they said, what are you talking about? Go on a midnight shift, right? And so, uh, in terms of what it takes to be a cop and uh, to be a lady in law enforcement, you know, and do what you gotta do. You got a good role model, whether you know it or not. I just Thank wanted to you. say that. I appreciate that. The whole thing is be true to yourself. Think about how you want your family members and yourself to be treated. And that'll take you through this career with no problem. Nah, it's a, you know what that is, I pan out. You guys give me a salute while I'm panning back. Nice. You know what I like about presenting arms? You all put your arms up. You didn't put your guns out. <laughs>